Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Bosco or the Amazon down here, whatever you guys want to call me. Today I'm coming at you with another video, a little bit more in depth than the first video on this channel. Um, today we're basically going to cover how to do product research the right way and kind of a secret way to do product research, maybe not that you're familiar with, maybe you're not familiar with product research at all. Like I said, this is an introductory channel, it's teaching you how to do Amazon. So basically just an intro to product research in general. Today we're going to be using Helium 10, it's uh, the product we're going to be using, it's the tool we're going to be using. It's one of many you can use. Uh, some other ones are Jungle Scout, uh, Viral Launch. I've used Viral Launch, uh, Jungle Scout, and I've used Helium 10. I prefer Helium 10 over the rest of them, but uh, maybe that's just me. Um, I find it the best. It just has a lot more features in my opinion, and there'll be a link down below to be able to go check out Helium 10 and uh, see if you like it for yourself. It is a little bit pricey, um, upwards of close to, I think, almost $100 a month, but um, I believe they do have a free trial. Uh, I can maybe look more into that, maybe get you guys a free trial down there in the description. But today we're actually going to be using one of their many tools. As you see here, they have Black Box, Trendster, uh, a whole bunch of other little analytical tools and marketing tools for once you actually get your product launched. But today we're going to focus on the product research um, section. And within that, um, Trendster is interesting only because you can f kind of find trends before they kind of hit, like kind of how I talked in my last video. But that might be for another video. Today we're just going to use the Black Box Amazon Product Research Tool. So when you click on this, guys, uh, you're going to be greeted with this screen here. Um, it's kind of confusing if you don't really know what you're looking for. Um, we're going to show you how most people do their product research first, just to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, you're going to keep the Products tab here already selected. It's pre-selected. And basically here is where you want to fill out and kind of narrow down what you're looking for. Um, a lot of people here will kind of get over, I mean, not over doing it with what they're doing, but they'll put their minimum as like a million dollars a month or a hundred thousand dollars a month, something kind of unrealistic that's kind of hard to find and just plain out not going to happen for you. Um, but here you can kind of select what categories you're looking at. So it's hard to say exactly all the categories that are amazing. I like to do, you know, appliances, arts, crafts, sewing. I kind of stay away from automotive. I'm not a huge auto guy. If you're if you're into that, you know that market. Awesome, that's great, but it's just not something I'm 100% comfortable with. Baby's good. I stay away from beauty and personal care. Again, don't know a ton about it. Um, books, again, that's if you're reselling books and all that kind of stuff. Camera and photo, again, I don't love electronics. Cell phone accessories, that's very competitive. And again, electronical stuff, not really into it. Um, clothing, shoes, jewelry, no. Collectibles, no. Again, with the computer and accessories, not really into that. And obviously the electronics section, no. We're going to stay away from food. Handmade products we can't really make ourselves. But uh, health, health and household, I found a lot of good products in. Home and kitchen as well. Awesome. Um, kitchen and dining, I select. Movies and TV, again, that's all copyrighted stuff. Most Unless you're producing your own movie, in which case, congratulations. Um, we're going to stay away from musical instruments. Office products are good. Patio, lawn, and garden's good. Pet supplies, you can hit actually a lot of trendy products there as well. Um, sports and outdoors, you kind of get into some of like some supplement stuff when you select that, which I don't love because you see a bunch of supplements kind of showing up. If you want to sell supplements, if that's something you're into, um, which is definitely a trend right now, uh, you can do that. But uh, for just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. Um, and toys and games, all that stuff, I'm not going to do either. So I have nine selected here. Um, that should be plenty to get ourselves like some products showing up here. So, monthly revenue, this is completely up to you. Um, it depends what you're comfortable making. If this, is, if this isn't worth it for you, unless you're making X amount of dollars per month, then that's whatever. So, um, for me, I like to, just for my business, I like to, because we're kind of already established, I like to start this at $10,000. You can go a lot lower. For the sake of this video, actually, maybe we'll go a little bit lower. Uh, the lower you go, obviously, the more products are going to show up. But um, $10,000 you're operating around a 30% clip. So a $10,000 gross product would be $3,000 product a month, which is great. But for the sake of this, maybe we'll go 6,000 gross a month. We're not gonna put a max, because why max ourselves out there? Um, price, doesn't really matter. I like to put 10 to 12 as a minimum. We'll say just in between, we'll do 11 here. Only because once Amazon takes their fees, um, the lower your price is, really the harder it is to meet your margins, the harder it is to make adequate profit. Um, review count. Um, this is again, it's completely up to you, but I like to start with something that has a max of 
I'd say 200 reviews, between 150 and 200, so let's say 175, only because if there's a lot of products that are having tons and tons of reviews, super competitive, hard to build up your reviews to the point in which you're competing with these guys. So 175, that's a pretty good max for that. Uh, review rating, I just kind of leave that blank. It's not a, you don't you can like pick four and a half, four or five, but again, I just leave it blank. And shipping tier size, I like to just select the first three. Anything medium, oversized, large, oversized, special, oversized, um, all possible to sell. But again, Amazon fees go higher. Shipping costs from China are higher. It's just a little bit harder to uh, manage your profits that way. But we're just going to select those three for now. So when you click search here you're gonna see all these products pop up, right? So basically what it's done is it's selected products in this these nine categories that meet this criteria, 6,000 a month minimum, at least $11, under 175 reviews, and those shipping tier sizes. So you're gonna to start to see all the products pop up here. Um, again, it could be a little bit overwhelming because there's 10 pages of this stuff, right? So you're gonna kinda of look through this, kinda of see what you think you want to sell. Ultra soft, fluffy rug, it's like a faux rug, uh, bedroom, bedside, living room, carpet, nursery, washable. All right. So what I would do here is mm, it's a rug. It sells for $64. Um, they make over $7,000 a month, and they only have 150 reviews. So not super crazy, but if you go into, like, the product on Amazon, you just click the image there, it'll show you the product on Amazon, right? And see how they have multiple sizes here? Sometimes this can be a red flag because, basically, Helium 10 has labeled this product as $7,000 a month, only 150 reviews. The problem is sometimes when you get to the main page, it's showing you this variation for this size. So maybe not in this case, but sometimes the other sizes will have thousands of reviews. It's just this specific size that has a different rating. So we're gonna click here. It just looks like for this one, it's gonna be fine. It's 154 across the board for the most part. So again, it looks like it's fairly penetrable at least for this product but what you're going to do from this point on is you can't just go off this one product you can't just see all oh, this products making money it's gonna be successful what you have to do is basically kind of see where the product lies so basically it's a fluffy rug faux shag rug so what I'll do here is um, I'll do fluffy faux shag rug and I'll copy that and we're gonna paste it into the top to see other people that sell it and what do you want to do here is sometimes this will auto select the home and kitchen just because that's where the products from just go to all departments and we're going to copy and paste that in there so as you see here's other similar products they're not the exact same but they're similar right you see these guys seem to be the king $18 13,000 reviews so what you do here is we know what this one sells for because of black box but we can see what the whole market's selling for with the helium 10 extension up here as well so we're going to go to product research and we're going to pull this up so we can see the whole kind of market for these faux shag kind of rugs, right? So we're looking through here. What I look for first is everyone's eyes kind of get drawn right to revenue, right? That's where the money is. You see all these big numbers, $600,000. It's all very exciting, but we can't be drawn to that. Absolutely. Kind of ignore this stuff, guys, the success score. Sometimes it's relevant, um, but I've had products that are successful that have like a 10 success score. It's just It's not 100% accurate. I'll kind of show you what to look for here. So again, take your eyes away from the revenue, right? What you're gonna to wanna to focus on is the reviews. So what I do first before I look at anything else is I go right to the review count. I'll go to someone with low reviews. If someone with low reviews is succeeding, then it's possible for you to succeed almost right out of the gate, right? So the first one, 884 reviews, obviously $17,000 a month on that many reviews, not great. Now what I'll be looking for, but then I look at 46 reviews. Very attainable. I'll, fall, I'll do how to get reviews in the future, how to automate your review process and get reviews quickly because that's kind of a little bit of a staple to being successful on Amazon but not necessary now you're just gonna want to look at successful products right now and kind of gauge how you're gonna compete in the market so looking at this 46 reviews he's almost making six thousand dollars a month that's good that's a, that's an encouraging sign to that this product can be successful as you see um, the next thing you think is well why is he doing well at 46 reviews compared to the rest of the market. And if you go click on this product, you see the same kind of keywords as the previous guy, but you see he's got a pattern. He's got like a pink patterned faux rug. So immediately, that's their competitive advantage, right? These are the kind of things you have to think about when you start looking into products on Amazon. 
Why is this guy standing out? Why is he different? He has different variations, different sizes. They're all patterned. They all stand out, right? So that's why he's able to gain some leverage with the lower reviews because they're different. Some people click on the main page of Amazon and they see his. It stands out. It pops out. It's a little bit different than the rest. So that's why he's doing pretty well in the lower view count. We'll see if we can find another one here as well. So he's the 46 reviews. I believe I saw another one that was successful as well. Yeah, right here, 23 reviews, $45,000. That's awesome, guys. That's crazy, crazy revenue on that many reviews. Again, here's the size thing. You just got to be careful here. Sometimes I like to check that to make sure the ratings don't explode. But yeah, it looks like he's 23 ratings. It kind of looks like a little bit of a different design here too. And it's bigger. See how big it is? That's another thing you have to take into consideration. Maybe this is more of an area rug, guys. So if you were trying to get into this market, this kind of is an outlier here. It's an area rug. Maybe it's a little bit different. But again, it doesn't mean you can't do it. The design's a little bit different. It's colored. Another competitive advantage. I would say, guys, honestly, based on this product research I'm looking at right here, it's very competitive. But if you find the right niche, here's another example, 26 doing 5K. And you see what this is here, guys? It's the colors again colored patterned it's very possible very very possible this product um, it's a little bit too competitive maybe for me to want to get into it but absolutely doable and that's just the first product we saw I literally went to black box first product we saw right away boom so we're gonna just kind of continue with this method for one more product before I kind of get towards the not the secret way but the way I like the product research this way is awesome as well but I'm just gonna kind of show you this traditional way and kind of a slightly more advanced way that works for me as well so we're going to look for one more product here that looks kind of appealing. Cigar cutter, I mean, I don't really like dealing with blades, knives, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, it could be a good product, but I'm just going to kind of skip that for now. I just kind of look for something here that might have high upside. This is all you do, guys. Scroll through, kind of look. These are the knee support things. They have knee supports, owl supports, all sorts of stuff. I know I'm not going to click on this because I know it's super, super, super competitive. Once you get in here, this is kind of like a trap, the lower views. But um, I'm just going to keep looking. This is another thing to take into consideration. Um, snow globes, seasonal stuff. Depending what time of year is, obviously I'm recording this December 10th. All the Christmas stuff's going to be hot. So don't get kind of caught up in stuff that's, you can kind of tell when Halloween's coming around the corner, the decorations are hot. Unless you've done that in advance and have loaded your inventory months in advance for Halloween, we're going to ignore the seasonal stuff, guys. That's not what we're going to be looking for here. Again, not looking at the ankle brace. See the holiday greeting card. That's what I kind of mean. Don't go for, like, the seasonal stuff because it's going to, by the time you get it in, you better be prepared for next Christmas, right? All right, a bamboo. I don't know why this popped up for me. I like it so much, but. Uh, bamboo cheese board, serving plate, charcuterie board, stainless steel knife set. Christmas gift idea. Smart to put that in their title. Just for that, I'm going to... Actually, you know what? This is a good product, guys. This is a good product example. I don't even really care how much revenue they do. Because um, I'm just going to kind of break down this listing and kind of tell you why it's a good listing. Um, right away, I saw their box. And that immediately stood out. A lot of people on Amazon don't put a box in their thing. I don't know why they don't. They don't, put, they don't take time to package. It costs a little bit extra to make packaging, but they clearly didn't take time to make boxes. Most people, probably in this market, and that's going to make them stand out right away. It's this box. It caught my eye. Um, it just looks clean. They put the box in their listing picture and the product. Another thing they did here, guys, um, it might not be obvious to you, but the more you get into Amazon, the more you'll kind of realize. Design bamboo cheese board serving plate. Okay, so this cheese board in itself is a product, right, guys? All that stuff. But they've added this other stuff. Stainless steel knife set. So now it's a set, guys. It's a board, and it's got the stainless steel knife set. So what they've done with this product, it's a complete serving tray, right? But now they're going to rank on Amazon. They're going to rank under charcuterie board. They're going to rank under cheese board. They're going to rank under serving plate and stainless steel knife set. The more places you can rank and the more value you add to your product, the better it's going to be and the more potential you're going to have. So this is honestly a great product. Um, I don't know how new they are. They don't have that many reviews. 75 ratings, so they're probably fairly new guys. And they're probably doing a decent little chunk of change here, I'd assume, a month. We're going to look at it right here. Yeah, the guys are doing over $10,000 in revenue a month, which is awesome. Um, it's a pretty high-priced product, which is great. And they probably stand out just for like the sake of it. We're going to pop up another Amazon tab here. We're going to do uh, 
bamboo cheese board and just kind of see like what their competition is and I guarantee you guys that these guys are better than the rest of their competition um, see they're similar products they're probably sourcing see this person tried to do the same thing with the box I don't love their box placement as comparison to what we just looked at but yeah guys like I'm not seeing anything that pops more than this I don't know why they're not ranking on the first page here this one pops pretty good again with the box I think they kind of copied uh, the viral city company here but you can kind of just see for yourself when you're scrolling which kind of listings pop out for me. And obviously that box, it's a huge advantage. And let's just see the market in general here, just out of curiosity. Not that I think I'm going to do this product, but maybe for you guys. It's a strong market, wow. Um, people doing tons and tons of money. Um, 50 reviews, 31,000. Two reviews, 3,000. Yeah, 31 reviews, 7,000. This is a great market, guys. If anyone watching this video is into bamboo cheese boards or just wants to sell them, get a product to start, if you could do this product right, I can tell you right now, this is a winner. Straight up out of the gate. This is a good This is a good product. There's people with high like reviews, but you could definitely sneak in, do something different. Maybe make the bamboo coloring a little bit different. Maybe do like a black or a stained uh, bamboo board. Something like that could stand out, guys. Make sure you got the box in there. Make sure it's a package. It's, they sell for a lot, too. But it looks like those guys undercut at uh, the $35 or whatever. It's a great example. We're just going to close out these tabs. Just confusion. Box looks great. Product looks great. Price price point looks great. They've undercut everyone in the market. That's huge, guys. Sometimes it's worth taking 20 to 30% off uh, your profit margins. Say you're going to make 50% margins, but you could lower that to 30% margins and sell more, and that's your competitive advantage. That's another great way to do it just not being greedy right so that's for this product research tool guys we found honestly two pretty great products in like what it's been maybe 15 minutes and honestly I would feel confident selling both of those not as much the rugs but definitely the bamboo kit um, that's a nice little charcuterie kit there but basically how we're gonna move forward with this is the way I prefer to research so this shows you the products, right? This kind of spits out products. It doesn't really give you a gauge of the search volume because search volume on Amazon is so important. This is why it's better than drop shipping on Shopify in many levels because Shopify, you're paying to get people to your website. You're a no-name website. It doesn't matter. People don't necessarily trust you. Everyone's heard of Amazon. So people go on Amazon, they use it like Google. They type what they want, it pops up. So if you can find a product that's already getting the keywords typed in a lot, you're already ahead of the game. You don't have to spend as much on PPC, which is pay-per-click, advertisements, all that stuff. If people are already searching for your product, that's a great sign. So sometimes that's the best place to start. It's kind of look what keywords are trending, see if the products are good. So we're going to hop in here. It's still in black box it's under keywords. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do, maybe we'll go up to a $7,000 or sorry, I'm in the wrong tab here. We're going to do the $7,000 minimum, but we're going to do minimum search words. So Honestly, anything above three or four thousand usually has enough volume to make some sales. But for the sake of this video, let's do a minimum search volume of five thousand. So a minimum search volume, at least five thousand people search it, and at least you're making seven thousand dollars a month. That's a good. That's a nice little chunk to start. Uh, again, price we're gonna go with eleven, just because, like I said before, lower price not necessarily what you want. Review count, we're gonna do the same thing. One seventy-five. Review rating. Again, I don't really touch that. And a word count. So this is kind of the word count for how many keywords, like, for example, um, computer is a single keyword search. Um, one word keyword searches are definitely possible. Um, usually the more words or more, like multiple words are more common, like the previous uh, product, like charcuterie board or charcuterie set. It's a two word. But for the sake of not missing anything, I usually go one word to even like seven. Seven's a bit extreme. I like to probably keep it between three and five, but you might miss products that are longer, right? So we're going to do that. And we're going to kind of leave the rest of these sellers, uh, like the BSR rank and all that stuff. We're going to leave that. Um, you can get a little bit more advanced and kind of narrow it down. If you're having a tough time finding products and you're trying to get really, really niche or really, really uh, not so watered down products, you can kind of play with the advanced filters. But for now, this is all we need. We'll find some good products this way. So we search here. Again. This is stuff you have to realize. Hanukkah, don't touch it. A lot of people are obviously searching it. The holidays are coming out. Don't touch it. But see, now you start to get into some more interesting stuff. Barber chair. Um, I'm assuming, see it's a high ticket item. You could sell it. 
like I talked about the gaming chairs. Maybe that's the next thing. You know what? Um, yeah, let's check out barber chairs. I mean, they're probably not super cheap, but um, yeah, see, they're big. But maybe barber chairs are the next gaming chairs, like I talked about last video, right? Like, honestly, they don't have as many reviews as gaming chairs. And I would have the assumption that more barbers are probably working from home, maybe now, because of COVID and all the other scenarios. But honestly, guys, there's not a, like there's some high reviewed products here. But if you're look, if you have a little bit more money to start with, these, these the product of this is gonna cost you money, guys. You have to realize that. But um, just for the sake of checking out, maybe this is a nice hot product for the future. We also have to assume there's more people sitting at home on their ass playing video games than there are barbers in the world, probably, right? So it doesn't mean it's gonna get as big as gaming chairs, but it could very well still be a successful product. And as you see here. Uh, six reviews, eight Gs. Thirteen reviews, two. That's not great. Twenty-two, four to five. Um, you're gonna want to see a little bit. I wouldn't really touch this unless I knew for sure I was gonna make ten thousand plus, only because of how much they're gonna cost you up front. A chair like this is gonna be like minimum probably forty to fifty dollars to order. One of the lower end chairs here. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a high ticket item to sell, barber chairs there right away. Boom, right off the gate, guys. A product that if you're looking for high ticket you got some bankroll honestly just first page boom right down there um, we're just gonna keep looking ballet bar um, cleaver cutter like guys it's it's endless I don't think a lot of people understand how many products you can sell on Amazon I'm not saying every single one of these from product research is gonna be successful but if you do your due diligence you look at the listings you see the competition there's a way you can change the product there's a way you can compete you can add a box other people's listings don't look good there's a lot of ways to compete if you take the time. So music box for women, eh, not really into that. Uh, hunting tree stand, that's pretty interesting. It's small oversize, um, high ticket as well. We're just gonna check this one out, guys. Obviously, I'm not a hunter, but I know what these are. They kind of sit in the tree and they wait for their prey to shoot it. Um, it's looking kind of competitive. Fair amount of reviews here. But revenue's good. Review velocity. You can compete right here. 47 reviews, $40,000, right? And what have they done to stand out? That's what I want to know, right? Okay, there's a little bit more of a simplistic design. Ladder stand. Guys, um, this could be a great product. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I think of worst case scenario, I had as an Amazon seller. I think of liability. Um, it's, this, it's a poorly made product, maybe someone falls out of the tree it breaks someone sues you right so maybe not a product that I'd rely on unless I had a crazy amount of liability insurance and you were really sure of the quality of the product right um, so a good potential product but maybe something I would stay away from uh, wine barrel we're not gonna touch anything alcohol cigarettes kinda related you can sell alcohol related items as long as it's not the booze itself but again I'm just gonna stick away from that uh, Disney pins see there's something here Unless you're Disney, you probably shouldn't be selling Disney pins. Uh, could lead to some legal issues. Again, here, WWE figures. Don't be looking at that. All this stuff. Kate Spade. You can just ignore all the brand stuff. All the brand stuff, just scroll by it. Don't even look at it. Um, it's just a, it's a waste of time. Mother-daughter aprons. I don't know why this um, stood out to me, but it does. Um, my thought pro I'm just trying to get you guys through my thought process as an Amazon seller. Um, Mother-daughter aprons. It's searched almost 7,000 times, which is great. Price point's fairly low, means not that expensive, and the revenue is fairly good. Um, I just figured it's something that you could stand out in, something that um, maybe not a ton of people are selling right now, right? So as I thought, it's just matching aprons for cooking. Um, definitely something you could stand out in. The reviews don't look crazy. Uh, a lot of people stay at home with COVID again, cooking, baking, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to check this market out real quick guys this might be a nice little cheap product that you can make some money on um, what's the revenue revenue is not amazing but I'm looking at now what this is what's amazing guys this is what's amazing this could be an up-and-coming product this is kinda what you wanna see um, everyone's doing pretty good no one's doing amazing no one's doing hundreds of thousands of dollars but that's not what you can always find this is something that you can get into right now and be successful um, you're looking at one review guys eight thousand dollars a month this is probably a brand new product doing eight thousand dollars a month and what did they do guys <laughs> what did they do what did I tell you before guys 
which which one stands out here? Yes, the Minnie Mouse bow thing stands out. But what stands out? The one with the box. The one with the gift box. Right away. It's it's nothing crazy. These ones could all come with a box too. Don't get me wrong. They could be offering a box, but they're not showing it in their lead-in picture. And that's something that immediately. Adult and child apron set. Boom. Right there. Stands out the box. It makes it look more legitimate. Right away, guys. And $8,000 on one review. Absolutely crazy. This is... I'm not, again, I'm not saying I'm going to steal all these products for myself, but this is a good product. Right away, this is a good product. We're going to check out the market again. Sorry, guys. I'm clicking all over the place here today. Had, had two coffees already today. I'm kind of all jittery, kind of getting excited about Amazon here. But, guys, one review, eight grand with the secret, secret method that I'm probably going to title this video with. But, honestly, this is a great method to use. You can kind of filter through all the keywords. The fact that this is searched over 6,000 times... Right away, you know there's demand for it. There's not many other businesses out there that you immediately know the demand for product before you're even going to sell it. And you can just quantify it, and you can research it, and you can see the market. And it's that's why I'm just going to say, I'm kind of getting off topic, because that's why Amazon is the best place to sell right now. It's one of the biggest opportunities with the lowest risk, because you know what people want, and you can immediately sell it and attack a market like this, guys. Um, yeah, guys, this is a good product. This is a really, really good product. I wouldn't say an A+, plus, but it's damn well near an A guys um, you're gonna see like if you're missing with this product like there's guys with two reviews two thousand zero reviews they're still selling it's not like they're not selling anything um, I'm gonna kinda see one of the bigger reviewed ones here uh, let's see 106 for 10 grand like what's their thing here nothing wrong with 106 reviews for 10 grand a month it's again um, maybe one thing I would say is aprons are used for baking yes for sure people bake um, sorry I'm just kinda again I'm getting it through my thought process People bake with aprons, but people also cook with aprons. What if they're just cooking? What if they're, uh, maybe they're not looking for a cupcake pastry apron if they're just cooking right at their house? Um, so you've kind of already narrowed your market with this apron, um, if you if that makes sense to you guys. Because if you just do a generic blue apron, more people might be inclined to just buy a generic color as opposed to this patterned one, right? Um, maybe people don't like the cupcake girly pink uh, that's another thing I'm thinking of. They don't want their girly pink apron. They just want a neutral color. There's all these things you got to take into consideration, guys. But again, great product. Um, Dessert-based. Obviously, people bake uh, their goodies or whatever. Holiday season, awesome. Again, nothing wrong with that $10,000 a month at 100 reviews either, guys. Um, everyone's kind of eating. That's getting into this. Um, I would, yeah, again, pretty close to an A here. I think this is a great product. Um, and I think this is a great product to probably end the video on is this is this is just showing you already the tools that you need to get Helium 10 going guys and I'm sorry if you guys wanted more maybe me to keep going through all these but I kind of want to keep the videos not crazy long guys this is probably already leaning on towards a 30 minute video but um, in the future I'm thinking live streams if you guys are into that if you guys have made it this far in the video for starters awesome that's great um, clearly you're gathering the right information but leave a like down there if you have made it this far. Uh, maybe smash the subscribe button, put the little bell, hit the bell, and uh, you can get notified when I make videos. Um, comment down below if you guys would like to see maybe live streams, um, Amazon FBA live streams of me doing this, me just doing product research, um, kind of going through all these products. I could do this for hours, guys. I love doing it uh, for the sake of the YouTube length of the video. Um, I'm obviously not going to do that, but uh, I could go through this and kind of analyze and break down products all day I love it it's a lot of fun product research is one of the most fun parts of Amazon for me so I'd like to share that uh, with you obviously because it's something I enjoy to do hopefully you guys got some value from this video and I'll have a link to Helium 10 below um, I'm pretty sure I can set up an affiliate link I'm hoping I can set up some sort of free trial or there's a link to a free trial there'll be a link to something down there uh, it'll be Helium 10 I kind of put the resources down below so you can check out Helium 10 I'm not 100% sure again about the uh, free trial but hopefully for you guys sake just to try it out you guys can do it for free this has been Bossville guys or the Amazon Don I'm out peace